Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. We'll chew on this. Over the course of this next year, one in four Oklahoma children is at risk of going to bed hungry. It's called food insecurity, and it's a definition given by the USDA to households where consistent access to adequate food comes up missing at some point during the course of the year. And as troubling as those statistics are, some of the solutions to the problem are just as encouraging. This summer, we traveled to some unlikely spots to meet some innovative Oklahomans trying to close the gap between the people who grow our food and the people who eat it. Joining me now is our Courtney May. Well, Rob, you no longer have to live in the country to grow your favorite plants and vegetables. Gardening in cities is more popular than ever. From backyards, rooftops, and vacant lots, 15% of the world's food is grown in urban areas. At the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food, and Forestry, what once was a small flower garden has been transformed into a flourishing community garden, producing a variety of fruits and vegetables. It used to be a, a perennial, um, like some type of flowers and perennial bushes and things like that. Micah Anderson is the Marketing Development Coordinator at the Department of Agriculture and says the garden is growing not only fruits and vegetables, but also relationships. And it's evolved and uh, it's gotten better and better every year. We've got uh, more participants coming out of the building to come and help and, and uh, people that work in it, they harvest and take stuff home. And it's uh, great to bring people together to work. Uh, taking breaks from, the, from just sitting in front of a computer, coming out to work early in the morning, uh, doing some weeding. Uh, I think it's just a healthy mindset, just to clear your mind. While creating a bond among coworkers. I think if it weren't for the garden committee, I wouldn't know half the people that I do that aren't on the first floor in where I sit. So it's just gotten me a little out of my comfort zone and I, I've expanded my gardening knowledge for sure. It's something that everybody can talk about, and regardless of what race you are, what, where you come from. And I've always noticed this about farmers. There's no, there's no barriers. All the barriers are broke down. So when you come to the garden, it, all your barriers are broke down. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood, and it was like, you know, uh, you know, we had white neighbors and the Indian on one side and the white on the other side, and we all helped each other and worked each other. We were just trying to get stuff to grow and produce. An attitude that volunteers like Alvin Chandler hope to spread across the community. Chandler works with young people on how to plant and grow their own crops. I met up with Chandler at a community garden in North Oklahoma City. Most of the kids here, you know, the young men, they're involved in a program called Youth Builders Incorporated. And what Youth Builders Incorporated is, is designed to do is face some of the disadvantages that a lot of these children have coming from the communities that they're in. Disadvantages meaning that poor nutritional value and which is just simply education. So what we're trying to do is expose some of these kids to just the nutrition that comes from just raw vegetables and fruits and trying to get them aware that this is going to be better for them actually playing sports because that's what a lot of kids do in youth building, they play sports. So if we can get them involved in eating better, it, it actually transfer into them being better athletes. And how important is it, do you think, to get urban kids involved in agriculture? Extremely important. If you think in terms of just something as simple as academics, you know, research shows that if you're eating better, you're sleeping better, which is going to transfer into you being able to get up the next day with enough energy to have, be able to transfer it to the classroom. So we see it as increasing their academic ability by eating just simply eating better. And Chandler's organization isn't the only one seeing the value of agriculture. Shay Omakomi is an organizer for EOUG, Empowering Our Urban Girls. It's just a fascination for them to actually see the process and actually be a part of that. You know, again, that's the seed that is being planted in them and they look forward to the next thing we're going to do. What are we going to do next? What do we get? Are we going to get to go back? Are we going to get to plant and or pick the vegetables and fruits? And it's just, I, I love to see that type of spirit in something that is really a necessity for them opposed to 
video games and technologies, it, that kid spirit that they should have, I see that again and I love it. What are some of the changes that you've seen in these kids emotionally and how have you seen them grow? Absolutely. One of the things, just, just simply coming out here working, working in the garden, you know, Micah, Mr. Anderson, you know, he, when, when he first brought me along, he said it was a spiritual transfer, trans, uh, formation. And actually it is, because you see these kids, once they're out here working hard, and then they see the things that are being produced from the work, from their hands, you know, it, it just does something to them emotionally, it does something to their psychology, they just feel good about themselves. It's a spiritual transformation, changing the lives of everyone involved, with a central focus on giving. A lot of young people don't have the opportunity to have both parents in their life. So to me as a young man, to be able to give back to young guys who don't have their father in life, just to kind of be a, a positive role model, positive influence to them, and just to give back as far as uh, agriculture-wise, shows them a, a different, different view of things. Eric McHenry volunteers in the garden every week. You can be a sports guy, but you can also be an agriculture guy as well. Learn how to produce your crops, grow your crops, and uh, also be able to produce for your family and your community as well. While Rob, community gardens promote healthy lifestyles and also create food security in low-income areas. They also provide therapeutic opportunities while promoting agriculture. Thank you so much, Courtney. You're welcome, Rob. Now, when we return, we'll meet some students learning to sow to grow.